round of showers for a good part of the day. It's turned out to be a cool, crisp night in Blacksburg as we welcome you to midweek ACC softball action. Tonight, Liberty has made the short journey west with the hopes of slowing down. They slide her into the number two spot. KK Madre has been on fire last month. Madre hitting in the number six spot tonight. Here's a good start as Kirsten's able to bloop one out to center field. Move early with Kirsten starting this game with a base hit. 3-1 to Roop is lined in the left center. That's gonna get down a base hit. Green over to cut it off. Kirsten will put on the brakes at second and the Lady Flames have come out swinging the bats. Situation here, Wilson certainly wants to put the ball in play, try to advance the runners. Grine has other things on her mind, and that's exactly what she wanted. Payoff pitch is hit high in the air to straightaway left. Cruising in a couple of steps is Green for out number two. The plate to get the call. McManus making just her ninth start of the season. Hits one to straightaway center. Ritter over a few steps and a good job by Lindsey Grind. Liberty strands a pair. We'll get our first look at this high octane offense. Down in the zone, a lot of bite on that drop ball, especially into righties. Off the glove of Crane, ricochets in the left field and a base hit for Ritter. Ball came off the bat with a lot of velocity. And now a pitch in the dirt bounces away from Kirsten and with the speed of Ritter, she will take the 60 feet. Six RBIs and Katie Love in a precarious spot here, 3-0, and she walks her on four straight. Just like Liberty, Virginia Tech puts their first two runners on. But you double that and the dangers that Virginia Tech has with this offense, and they are loaded here in any number one. Back-to-back -back walks. Again, that Katie Love tiptoeing through a minefield right now. The 1-1, ground ball to short. They're going to come home with the throw, and they'll get the force out. Good job there by Reagan Barrett on the sharply hit ground ball. No hesitation, firing home to Kirsten to get first year at Virginia Tech, transferring in from Radford. Here she hits one high in the air to left center, reaching up and making the catch as Wilson. Green will tag from third and score. It's a sacrifice fly for McMillan and a 1-0 lead for the Hokies. Solid contact by McMillan. It's a pitch out over the plate, but I tell you what, Wilson in center field makes a tremendous play, reads it off the back, prevents multiple runs coming across. But Virginia Tech able to down and in to righties. It just has that extra bite when she throws that location. Has some waste pitches here as she tries to flirt over the inner half and gets the strike call. Hey, they knocked out Grand Canyon and then they made the regional final for the third time in program history. Beautiful bunt laid down the third base side. Peck has all types of trouble with it and Madre is gonna reach. So back-to-back -back innings that the Lady Flames. Chance to make a play. Robert shows bunt, spins one out in front of the plate, and the throw is late. A base hit by Roberts. Back-to-back -back bunts and Liberty. Eventually, they're going to find holes. Holes back. Runners take off. The throw to third, and they got her. Madre thrown out at third base. Aldridge coming up with the gun there. For the second time, the three-ball, two-strike pitch. Swing and a miss. Just kept going up that zone, and that time Crane unable to catch up with it. Yeah, swing and a miss out. Third, Roberts on the bag at second. Grind looking for her third strikeout. This one lifted in the air near the circle. Rose comes in at the last second as Grind bailed on it. And Annika Rose makes the catch. Ryan trying to get out of this jam. The right-hander delivers, and they are loaded for Roof. See how fired up. Kirk. Two balls, two strikes. And this one popped up. And for the second straight inning, Lindsey Grind is going to get out of harm's way. But a collective sigh of relief there. And yeah, top to bottom, we see the big upset by Boston College. 
Nuko lifts one high in the air, way back. Wilson to the track, to the wall, gone. Maya Luko and Virginia Tech for the 73rd time this year circles the bases. For Virginia Tech, comes up with the big swing deep to center field, no doubter off the bat. We're not manufacturing runs this inning for Virginia Tech. We're just going to start off by putting it. Home run, that was back on March 3rd. And blasted a two-run shot in the series finale with Pitt. Virginia Tech looking to go back to back, and they do. Kylie Aldridge with a rope, a line drive shot to straightaway center. Long ball nation here in Blacksburg. And coming from the bottom of the lineup, Kylie Aldridge, just one home run on the season, wants to get into the home run party. Aggressive early in the count, something over the, over the outer half, full extension, no doubter. Top to bottom, Virginia Tech showing their power, especially the bottom of the lineup coming through for the Hokies. Right into the fire, really stepped up, like you said. Off speed pitch had Rose way out in front. A good job by Escobar to get the strikeout out of the bullpen. One ball, two strikes. And back to back strikeouts by Escobar. When you talk about sitting on a pitch. Well, battle back to run it full as the 3 2 is in the dirt and Green is aboard via the base home bowls for the second time tonight. Cameron Fagan digs in. Left handed bat, lines one back up the middle, past the second baseman Roberts, a base hit. Green never stops, she'll go first to third. And a little bit of a two out rally now for Virginia Tech. Looking for her third straight season in which she has hit double digit home runs, had 11 two years ago, a team high 16 last year. And Escobar strikes her out. from playing and has stepped inside the coaching box. Two-time Atlantic Sun Coach of the Year. And, and keep in mind, when she took over this program, it's all thanks to that generation from people like Dot Richardson. I chuckle because she made it crystal clear she was always the first one taken <laughs> on the playground. She did make that a point. Lifts it high up into the air right side. The freshman Chatfield will call off Fagan. And for the first time tonight, Grind has a 1-2-3 inning. Swing and a miss. And another strikeout for Escobar. That's her third strikeout. In home runs this year, she has already broke the program's freshman home run record. She did that last week. And Will not get an opportunity to go, who got this crowd fired up back in the second inning. And now a wild pitch as Escobar sends it to the backstop and McNelly trots down the second. Home run of the season. Trying to earn an everyday spot in this already loaded Virginia Tech lineup. And Escobar zips it right by. And pitches. Did you come into the box with a plan? Swing and a miss there. The plan did not work out for Aldridge. LSU in a three-game set right before the Conference USA tournament in Las Cruces as Madre goes the opposite way for a base hit. And I thought, and look at the hustle here by Madre as she was thinking two out of the box and three home runs. She has some power. Right now, the adjustment to Division I pitching has not been kind. Rob Unger, as we go deeper into this game, she ran into a... A lot of base runners the first couple of innings. Hot shot toward third. Peck with the clean scoop. She'll throw to first in time. Fine play at the hot corner. Again, the payoff. And this time hit right at Peck, who snares it to retire the side. Couple of hard hit balls by Crane and Barrett, but Liberty has nothing to show for that he's never had the luxury of in the past. This one yeah. lifted in the air by Rose to right. Roop is under it, one out. I think you nailed it. 
with the depth in the circle we've seen years. 66 innings, they've really managed Limley well, just the 70 innings so far. Fly ball hit to straightaway center and a good start here in this inning for Evan. You look at the youth on this roster for Liberty and Escobar, the elder statesman, as Green hits a one hopper to first. She's a top of the order as Kirsten hits one high and deep to left field. That's over Green's head. Bounces into the open area, picked up by Ritter, and it's a long single for Sierra Kirsten, who's been on base all three times to from the Atlantic Sun, and there's been no transition problems. Base hit by Roop into left field. And the time run will come to the play. Kirsten and Roop getting the job done atop the order. Mary Claire Wilson, the batter. She lines one into center field, a base hit. High door and around third. She is going to score, and the Flames are on the board for the first time. Field to Emma Ritter. Really helped Hydorn be able to score from second base on this drops right behind the dirt. Great jump by Hydorn, scores without a throw. One ball, one strike. Hit in the air, left center. They had it shifted perfectly. Green over, makes the catch, tagging his roof. She goes head first into the bag at third about some playing time possibly if she can get a hit the 0-1 runner takes off and now we'll have that rundown between first and second keeping an eye on both runners Liberty still trying to play that aggressive running game and eventually after all of that Wilson moves down to second so that was really well defended can look at this tag Did she come off the bag So the challenge works for Virginia Tech, and they're going to say Wilson took off early. It is, and you can see grinding her motion. Wilson did lead the base. After that last review, standing at third, and McManus skies one out toward left center, moving over is green, and she'll make the catch to retire the side. Liberty gets a run across one of two of the Fagan sisters and the scouting report that they have for young sister Cameron. And you saw the numbers, Brittany, that Cameron has put up against Liberty, not tonight, but in the past, she's a sis. <laughs> Beautiful pitch there by Escobar, and she registers another strikeout. That's her seventh strikeout tonight. 2-1 pitch, speaking of hard hit, right off the glove. Fortner unable to pick it up cleanly and a two-out runner for Virginia Tech. McMillan stays through the... Fifth hit of the night by Virginia Tech and now taking the pitch is Chatfield. Runner is gonna take off, McMillan with the stolen base and that's what she brings, the speed on the bases as well. 0-1, chopped towards second, backhanded. Not a real clean pick, throw to first, and they still had enough time to get Chatfield. Good recovery by Roberts. On getting the ball in the zone. And Madre is on base for the third time tonight. So KK Madre doing her part, and Liberty with the time. Payoff pitch, and it is high, ball four, and Liberty. Again, you rally and do the same here in Blacksburg against Virginia Tech. Round ball hit well and through. Pass Rose in the left field, the base hit. Rounding third, Madre. The throw home is cut off, and it's a one-run game. Hit by Rachel Crane. This is Emma Limley's, one of her best pitches is this up and in rise ball. She does a great job of staying on top of it, getting her barrel out in front, sneaks it through the five, six hole, and the speed coming around to score for Liberty. We've got a one run ball game. Runner. See what Limley decides to go with here, the two, two. Got her, a swing and a miss by Kirsten. 
Limley up in the zone on the outer half. Root gets a hold of it. Opposite field shot. That's off the bottom of the fence. One run in, two runs in. Root delivers like she has all season. And for the first time tonight, the Lady Flames have the lead. Rachel Roop, one of the best hitters in Liberty history, comes up huge for the Flames. Runners on second and third drills this ball off the right center wall. Down at her left wrist. Right hand to rocks and throws, and this one lifted in the air, shallow right. McMillan is underneath it. She'll make the catch to retire the side, but Liberty strikes. They start to feel it. Had her out in front, little roller toward third. Crane has to hurry, low throw, dug out by Fortner, and there's one out. We're on the ESPN app. We will head to Tallahassee here on the ACC Network as soon as we're done. Aldridge looking for number two tonight. It is gone. Kylie Aldridge for the second time goes yard. Kylie Aldridge not known for her power when you talk about power. A solo shot to tie up the game, get something on the inside part of the plate, pulls her hands in nicely, and that is a moon shot. Almost hit the bus out there behind right center field. All smiles for Aldridge. Picking up her team right in front of her as Luco had a solo shot earlier in the game as well. Emily Leggett, the pinch hitter, has a base hit. So Leggett hitting for Rose in the number nine spot. 2-0, Ritter hits it on the line toward right back and gone! A line drive opposite field home run and a team that relishes the long ball has hit four more tonight. To a pitch, works into a hitter's count, elevated outer half, and this is just a line drive home run. It wasn't a matter if it was gonna go over the fence or through the fence. This one just snuck above the wall for a two run shot late in this ball game. Look how excited. Roses running the bases, scoring, and Emma Ritter has made that trot many times in her career this time to give her team the lead. Really hard to string hits together, so sometimes you look to get something in the air. Green lifts this one in the air out towards shallow right, backpedaling as Roberts and making the stumbling catch. Good job there, good concentration by Roberts to reel it in. Yeah, he mentioned when you asked him that question, he bar and then a home run, a solo shot really opened the gates for Emma Ritter to come up and High put ball. two runs up. Into that left field corner, and Mondre has just enough real estate to haul it in. Fortner 0 for 3 in this game, and she's going to change that right over the top of Peck, and now the ball gets by Green, and Fortner will. Cruise in the second base. Ability to start off an inning. McManus 0 for 3, hits one right back up the box and in the center field, a base hit. Fortner around third, she will score and there is no quit with Liberty tonight. No, you can hear it from the dugout, from the top of this inning. They McManus just puts this ball right back where it came from, not trying to do too much. But what Liberty has done consistently throughout this game from the first inning is being super aggressive at the plate, swinging early in counts, anything close. They're trying to. McManus at first, the 2 2 pitch, and Limley gets the strikeout. Goes now with the catcher, Aldrich. Don't want to make a mistake this late. The 0-2 pitch. Ground ball hit toward the left side. Takes a nice bounce for Rose. And they'll get the lead out at second base. See her climb the ladder. She's been one of the strikeout queens over the last couple of years in the ACC. And she adds one more to that total as she puts the finishing touches on Liberty.
Boers for the Lady Flames. Emma Limley got into some trouble in this outing, but she was able to hold strong and close it out this hard fought game for the Hokies, the leader in the circle, with the big strikeout to seal the victory for Virginia Tech. The Hokies win it six to five and a wild one here in Blacksburg. Don't forget.